Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're going to get some answers. You're watching Cigars Daily. Help us future-proof Cigars Daily when you watch these videos on CigarsDailyPlus.com where we've got coupon codes, extra content and videos and even more because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. So at some point, as you work your way through cigars, you're going to think about cigars and your health. Like, certainly the war on tobacco has been going long enough that we all know about it. There's health impacts of this stuff. And maybe you think about it, or maybe your wife makes you think about it again and again, or again and again and again and again. But certainly, it's something that's going to come up. The good news is there's more information today on this than there's ever been before, because a huge study was just released on the impacts of premium cigars. Now, as I take you through some of the results of this study, I want to tell you, I'm not going to post a link to this study down below in fear. If I do that, it's straight to jail. That's where I don't want to go. So I'm going to tell you the name of the study and who put it on. And that way you can find it yourself. Also, there are articles about this on Half Wheel, Cigar Aficionado, probably of any other cigar review site you're going to go to. The study was done by the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine. And the actual study's name is premium cigars, patterns of use, marketing, and health effects. The study itself is 500 pages long. It covers a lot of information, but what I wanted to do is bring you some key points in that study, and I encourage you to get all the details for yourself, but there's a lot to know and a lot we already have gleaned from it. So I want to take you into some of those things now. And again, I say this in all my cigar and health videos. Is this good for you? No, there's, it's not good for you. Certainly there's a health risk that comes with premium cigars cigars that each person needs to sort of identify and decide whether or not they want it in their lives for themselves. But today, hopefully some of the information will help clarify that, especially for those of you who are particularly worried. And one thing before I crack into this on why this is such a critical study, because now for one of the like first times in history, we are starting to see an emerging definition of premium cigars that separates them from other forms of tobacco, even other types of quote unquote cigars. This study was specifically about cigars and that included some other stuff like they called them filtered cigars, like the gas station stuff or cigarillos. They even talk about cigarettes in this, but this is really about premium cigars which is what a lot of us enjoy. And the definition of a premium cigar here is something with a whole wrapper leaf, a leaf binder underneath, not reconstituted tobacco. It's at least 50% long filler by volume. It doesn't have a characterizing flavor and large cigars weigh more than like six pounds per thousand and a couple of other things in there. It's just a way of taking what we do and separating it from a lot of the machine made stuff or a lot of the stuff that again, you're gonna find them behind the counter at a gas station. And of course, the first question you've got to answer is, who the hell is using these things? You see, in the 80s, when we started the war on tobacco, that was like a huge deal. And during that time, Big Tobacco was responsible for a lot. The key thing they wanted to go after was marketing to youth, because in the past, that's been a substantial problem. These days, we see a bit of a different picture. And even this study starts to highlight that, especially as it comes to premium cigars. Here's what the study has to say about who is actually using these things. Premium cigars are our premium cigar users are on average seven to 10 years older than those who smoke even just cigarillos and filtered cigars. Premium cigar use is less common among youth and only about 6% of those uh, who reported smoking a premium cigar brand in the last 30 days were under the age of 18. This is a colossal separation from what you see in a lot of other eras of tobacco. These days, there's a lot of people who talk about a vaping epidemic among the youth. And certainly I think the number of something like 5 million youth are using that stuff. And that's not a good thing, especially for their developing little brains and bodies. So it's something we want to protect them from. But here already up front, I've got this really great data that suggests that the like overwhelming majority of premium cigar smokers are qualified adults. 
And the study does go on to talk about the marketing of cigars and there's an accusation of the premium cigar industry in there that we're not self-regulating advertising to keep it out in front of the kids. I gotta tell you, there is a lot of regulation on advertising tobacco out there, so much so that if you've got money to do it, no one will really even take your ad money. So I'm not sure why we're so worried about premium cigar companies regulating our own marketing. Seems like it's pretty much a closed door for the most part for us, but nonetheless, you also gotta know how we're using these damn things. Like certainly it's different than cigarettes. Some people smoke a pack a day. That's 20 cigarettes, that's a lot. If you smoked a box of 20 cigars in a day, you would almost definitely be sick, maybe even go to the hospital. That's a lot, a lot of nicotine, that's one hell of a buzz. But when it comes to how we're using these, here's what the data suggests, they say, the frequency and intensity of smoking is lower for premium cigars compared to other types of cigars and cigarettes. Only about 5% of premium cigar users smoke these daily. That's five out of 100 people who use them, and cigars are already the smallest segment of the tobacco world. They say, whereas 22% of non-premium cigar users, 19% of Cigarillo users, 40% of filtered cigar users, and 76% of cigarette users are daily smokers. So you can draw it all the way up to your 76% of cigarette smokers and then look down at the bottom of this where 5% percent of cigar smokers use daily and see that there's a massive gap in the consumption. We just don't smoke these as much as cigarettes. Also, there's an amount per day that these go. They even break this down and I love it. The median number of cigars or cigarettes smoked a day is about 0.1 for premium cigars. 0.2 for non-premium cigars. That's gonna be, I think, a lot of the machine-made stuff and gas station stuff. 0.3 for cigarillos. One uh, for filtered cigars, more gas station stuff, and 10 for cigarettes. So while your average cigarette smoker smokes 10 cigarettes a day, your average cigar smoker smokes 0.1 cigars a day. Now, certainly I don't wanna just read off this whole page to you, but when it comes to the actual health impact of cigars, this study went into how we use them, who uses them, how often they're used, and what is really the results of that? Like, it's not so much about like, oh, if you use nicotine, it's gonna do X, Y, and Z to your body. Then your head's gonna explode when you're 27 years old. There's nothing like that in here. Instead, they're taking the simple variables of like who and how old you are and how much you're using them to see what the health impacts might be and especially compared to cigarettes because that's the one that currently we know the most about and in the past has been the biggest problem. But when it comes to the health impact of premium cigars, I got three insights for you and I'll give you some thoughts on those. The first one says here, there is strong suggestive evidence that health impact or health consequences of premium cigar smoking overall are likely to be less than those of smoking even other types of cigars because the majority of cigar smokers are non daily or occasional users and because they're less likely to inhale the smoke. And again, I say this in every cigar and health video, you're not supposed to inhale cigars. And if you're doing that, you should stop. That's it's just, it's like to like cigar tobacco can be really harsh. You don't want it in your lungs. So keep it out of there. And, and certainly here we see something, I think a lot of cigar smokers know. And so when you hear that a study costs this much to make, I don't know what you make of that. Maybe it makes you frustrated. It does for me. All right. And then the second one, there is insufficient evidence to determine if occasional or non-daily exclusive cigar use in general is associated with an increase increased health risk. I mean, it's crazy to me because all the way through the like beginning of the war on tobacco and big tobacco, they would come out with these studies where there was no conclusive evidence that cigarettes were bad for your health. And that's what they're always saying, even though they obviously were like, everybody was getting cancer. So it was a big deal. But then when you come over to premium cigars and this study that's also funded by the way, by the FDA says there's just not enough evidence. And that's especially if you are using premium cigars only and you're a non-daily user. They go on to say, there is a moderately suggestive evidence that the health risks among uh, primary, uh, primary cigar users in general, those who were never established as cigarette users are generally lower uh, than among secondary cigar users, those who formerly use cigarettes, because secondary cigar users may be likely to inhale the smoke. Uh, likewise, concurrent users of premium cigars and other combustible tobacco products would experience greater health risks 
than those smoking only premium cigars. It's the classic Obama thing. Oh, I didn't inhale. Well, that changes apparently a lot when it comes to tobacco products. And when it comes to premium cigars, I gotta tell you guys, there's a health risk associated that you got to know about, but I think that we all sort of know a lot of these things. Like being a part of a huge and amazing cigar community, I am so glad that I get to talk with people who enjoy premium cigars and at least in my opinion, enjoy them responsibly. So many people are after this stuff not because they want to fill their lungs with it, but because each premium cigar is its own different blend that comes with its own flavor profile that'll take you to a different place. Cigars are used to pair with a beverage to get new flavors out of them. They're used to get together with other people and have something in common. It's one of the great things about cigar lounges. They're like one of the last places for real community out there where you're not going to get your head chewed off for thinking differently than other people. I think that there are benefits of cigars, not health-wise, like society societal benefits of cigars that allow us to continue our like civilization moving forward when, you know, other parts of it sort of seem to be crumbling. And I really wish I had more details from this study on like, here's exactly what a cigar does to your body. And certainly I wish that I could bring you right now, like here's exactly what happens when you smoke a premium cigar to your body. Here's exactly how much nicotine goes in. This study really gives us a good look at how we're using premium cigars and what the effect of that is. And I've always said this, Using premium cigars certainly seems to have a different health impact than cigarettes, but according to this study, they're saying that using premium cigars the way that most people use them, they do have or seem to have at least less of a health impact even than using other types of cigars and certainly cigarettes. So when it comes to your use of premium cigars, there at least is some hopefully helpful data to help you think through this stuff or a video that you can sit down and watch with your wife. Hi there, hope you guys have a great date later on. And I wanna encourage you guys to check this video out on cigarsdailyplus.com where you gotta know, I'll be putting some extra content in it. And please continue to watch and subscribe right here here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.